ब्यूटिफुल प्रॉब्लम एक्ने के बारे में बात करने के लिए एवरी ओकेजन दैट्स वन थिंग दैट वेरी वेरी प्रोमिनेंट इन आर प्योर रिपब्लिक डे so let's begin to today's topic that is the triggers of acne or what are the acne causing problems and every event every occasion that's one thing that's very very prominent in our appearance and it's one thing that always makes sure to make its presence so we're going to address this problem and understand why it comes and what are the treatments for it all that sort of things we'll be discussing in this our video so let's begin the video <laughs> इन्फॉर्मेशन नेसेसरी टू बिगिन दिस हम लोग का ब्यूटिफुल प्रॉब्लम एक्ने के बारे में बात करने के लिए तो टू बिगिन विथ हम लोग को समझना पड़ेगा कि वॉट इज एक्ने एंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज इट बेसिकली सो एक्ने जो होता है इज अ कॉमन स्किन कंडीशन वेर योर पोर्स आर गेटिंग क्लॉग पोर ब्लॉकेज प्रोड्यूस योर ब्लैक हेड योर व्हाइट हेड एंड अदर टाइप्स ऑफ pimples so let's talk about the types of acne and what is that which you will see and acne you can identify what acne it is so if you see on the screen you can see the different types of acne so there is one non inflammatory acne there is one inflammatory acne so if you see this one on top in the non inflammatory acne you are having the black heads acne then you are having the white heads acne where is the inflammatory ones which are there are the ones which actually come out of the skin Skin, just tearing out the skin little bit, and it forms like a pus kind of a things where you're having under inflammatory, you're having your cysts, you're having your nodules, you're having your papules, you're having your pustules. So all are the different types of acne. So now, if you are seeing an acne on your skin coming, now you will get to know that what type of acne is actually coming on the skin. So that will be a very informed decision you will be able to take, and then go on to your dermatologist and know what are the um uh, treatment for it next topic which is there is mera jo favorite topic hai because whenever i also get acne i also get to know what is the reason for my acne hum log ko jad ka reason pata rehna chahiye so that we can treat it so that we can work towards not having an acne in the future so there's something called acne face map so basically your full area of your face which is there is been divided as to where and what is the reason for your acne coming in that particular area on your face area i'm only taking the face area today so now we will talking about the face mapping of acne so if you can see on the screen we have the face mapping of acne this side the so first part that is your hair lining area which is the upper area the red color area in the face now that can be caused or acne can come there because of first thing your hair cosmetic hair products that you're using may be wrong dandruff is a very very prominent reason why acne might come there you can see the t zone that's your nose your nipple above the eyebrow your little chin area all those areas are your t zone area why does acne come there mostly it's because of oily skin uh, having in that because there's a lot of oil that is secreted in all those areas so that might cause an acne moving on if we come down we have that yellow part which is the cheek area as you can see on the image so that area we also get acne because of very prominent thing is a, a friction your not changing of your pillow covers um uh, not wiping and keeping your uh, you know mobile phones we see the jawline area which is this area of your uh, face that area is also gets acne because of the uh, hormonal changes you'll see in the future this is about the face mapping and this really helps me understand as to why a particular acne is come in this particular area of my face so this will help you all to understand why a particular acne has come so my next topic is basically telling you on the four acne causing foods and the four acne 
preventing foods food is going to be something which is a heavily salt or fried food can be a reason for an acne because much salt can actually dehydrate your skin and cause swelling so that can be my first food find sugar our favorite refined sugar. so higher sugar levels can increase the oil production in your skin and thus might cause a breakouts and acne in your skin third one dairy products dairy products is something that we are all hum log ka indian household mein at least doodh morning hum log hamesha peete hai so prompts the release of insulin factor and hormones leading to breakout the fourth one is alcohol so any alcohol which is there it's a bad so do not consume alcohol it alters your hormonal level and thus causes a lot of break out so this is the four foods that actually um, cause a lot of acne or might lead to acne next what are the four foods that will prevent you from acne antioxidant a rich food enhances your immune system so it takes away all that inflammation and the break out now what can be your uh, antioxidant a rich food example your broccoli spinach all are very good foods for uh, having uh, to stay away from acne the next food is your omega fatty acid one in omega fatty acid is fish fish is a very good so it benefits the skin by soothing down that um, inflammation if it's caused by any acne or it doesn't allow uh, acne to actually come in the future a third food is beta carotene or uh, and high a water content food so we are having orange we are having um spinach all those which are there are very much beta carotene foods be self moisturized and to reduce the oil production fourth one is rich in vitamin e this ensure that you are having a high moisture level in your skin it helps to give you a much clearer skin and reduces the oil content in your this way these are the few foods that are you know helping you avoid from getting from acne and those were the few foods which we talk about that can cause acne i follow to you know avoid acne to give you all a brief about it to begin with first thing is about cleansing so cleanse your face twice a day uh, and after sweating please please wash your face because of the excess oil production and dirt on your skin which might be a prominent reason for acne second step is doing a smart skin care so first use oil free non comedogenic products like salt like salicylic acid your benzoyl peroxides hydroxy acids all those are very good for reducing the acne on your skin apply sunscreen uh, about spf 30 every day that is one thing that you should never forget don't do any skin care but do sunscreen that's always i tell sunscreen is your savior lifestyle habits that has to change for acne to be removed out of your life first thing manage stress do a lot of exercise do a lot of yoga drink a lot of water understand that you need to be good first then i think everything will fall into place eat healthy have a good diet eat a lot of vegetables good amount of protein sleep sleep is one thing that most of us forget please have a good amount of sleep as 7 to 8 hours of sleep is very good many people doing don't go and touch your pimple or take out that pimple do not touch it let it take its own time don't spread out the bacteria to all parts of your face tropical treatments this is tea tree oil they consider to be very good uh, it helps to cure your acne use a very very mild tea tree oil or if you're having a concentrated one dilute it a lot and then use it on your skin do a patch test always before using any of the oils any of the products honey raw honey is also considered a very good ingredient for your acne put it for some time and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes to you know soak into your skin and then reduces that inflammation aloe vera aloe vera is also a very good product what i do is normally one drop of tree tree oil with three spoons of aloe vera gel i mix it together make a concoction and then i put it on my face you know to just reduce that inflammation if there's an acne or put it once a week you know uh, avoid acne in the future so this comes to the end of the video hope you all like the video and if you like the video please subscribe like the channel share with all your family members and hope you all have a lovely day and a lovely year ahead once again happy republic day have a beautiful blessed year um so hamesha khush rehna mehnat karte rehna see you later guys